spirituality more into everything that I do. Dave Shipsey, a Buddhist, complementary health therapist, and founder of Dan Tien Health Studio in Dublin, decided to give Una Levy, a solicitor and mother of two children, a little breathing space during her first session to help lower her stress levels. But in week two, Dave got straight to the point with some acupuncture to try and alleviate Una's allergies and asthma. But then things started to heat up with the ancient Chinese technique of cupping, a massage of a different kind. Cupping, I use a fire to create a vacuum. And I'm using important lung points. And, and this will help to improve lung function and nourish your soul. Finally, some Tai Chi lessons outside the city center surroundings allowed Una some relaxation time to connect with her spiritual side. At the beginning, you have to really find time to, to yourself so that you can actually do the techniques. And sometimes you don't even feel like doing it, but then it becomes a habit and um, you, you incorporate it into your life and you really feel the benefits then. Okay, let's find out, did it work? Six weeks, okay. Una, uh, he, Dave at one stage made your back look like a Lego brick with all those <laughs> warning. Was that painful for us there? No, it wasn't painful at all. It was painful to watch. It was, <laughs> it was painful for me to watch the, the week afterwards because I was very surprised because it hadn't hurt me at did all. Did it make a difference? It did. Um, I felt uh, with the, the coping, the acupuncture and the breathing techniques, you know, much, much more uh, energized and um, especially with stress I think at the end of the day if you can do some breathing techniques you'll benefit greatly mm -hmm. and you really will calm yourself so definitely yes but I would does recommend. Does any of that stuff to Tai Chi and all, does it start out your, which was your initial challenge, your work-life balance, yeah. you were very stressed over it, Yeah. two young children, a solicitor, working full time, yeah. did it make a difference? Yeah because I think with with other techniques say if you come home from work and you know you flop in front of the telly or whatever you you don't clear your mind that way mm. anxiety and all the different things that you've been doing during the day and all the worries and they all just creep in but if you're meditating and Dave has trained me to do this okay. during the five weeks you actually learn how to block all that stuff out so it really is amazing that's, that's a great result Adrian Mm -hmm. Talk to Joe, tell the truth, did it make a difference? It was all Francis. <laughs> no, playing, it was very, playing with a, what was it, an eagle or a falcon? And yeah, we went falconing the bacon first Bacon bread. Mm -hmm. To actually start his okay. own company. Dave Shipsy, where do, does, we saw the techniques, the acupuncture, the flame throwing uh, the, with, the, the, the with the empty uh, jam jars. <laughs> um, but where does, the, where does the Buddhism come into all of this? Where's the spirituality in all of this? Well, just uh, even teaching Una some meditation techniques. Um, and Buddhism is very much about being in the moment. Um, and to be able to clear out all the clutter uh, that we tend to go through in our heads, worrying mm -hmm. about all kinds of different things, just to be able to sit and breathe is actually very grounding. And it is quite a spiritual experience in do you, itself. Do you have to be a Buddhist for that to work, Dave? Not at all. Not at all. No. Mm -hmm. Try it. Just even tuning into your, your breath and being aware yeah. of it. It's amazing that people don't yeah. take time to notice. Um, and it, it's just a very grand and mm -hmm. relaxing experience. But there's a lot of skepticism around and about positive thinking, this American thing. And now there's a backlash against it in the States saying... Uh, you know, positive thinking in itself doesn't change anything. Una, what's your sense after six weeks? Because I'd be sceptical. You, you're evangelical at this stage. Well, I mean, my background is Catholic, and mm. so this, you know, Dave, Dave is coming at this from a Buddhist perspective. Mm. But as he said, you don't need to be Buddhist to do these techniques. And I don't really think they're positive thinking techniques either. From what we did, we mm. were, this was healing you know, with okay. acupuncture, working on my allergies, and the breathing, de-stressing, grounding yourself, that's different, and it is very spiritual. Have, has your family noticed a change in Una Levy that day? Well, Have I you... think they, they find it very funny to see me 
meditating over in the corner of the house. Or <laughs> While the children are destroying the house and throwing the telly out the window. Well, well my husband's keeping the children <laughs> out for, you know. But, uh, oh, like, I have, I've said to my husband, you know, I'm really benefiting from this. This is really good. Oh, and just, good. you know, okay. relaxing myself. Adrian, have your friends noticed a difference, your family, your friends? Um, not that they've said, no. Um, <laughs> but so much that we've been doing is, is behind the scenes. And it's really, as I said, it's whenever I move forward and um, progress within, within life. But um, we, we have talked about bringing spirituality into my relationship, into even okay. my sport, whenever I'm out running to try and get my breathing going and that type of thing. How much, Delic, Miss Tess, how much will you keep? How much will this be ongoing? Not everything. I think there's some things where whenever Francis was teaching me, I was kind of looking at it at the corner of my eye. And I was trying to be open to everything, but certainly there's some of the stuff that, that I won't um, take forward fully, but the vast majority of it has been really, really useful. And we even learned, like we went over breathing techniques and that sort of thing as well. So there was a bit of a crossover between what we were learning and what, what, what Una was learning as okay, well. Okay, Una, you will keep it up. I just sense it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was always something that was that I'd actually tried before but not committed to. And this was a really good opportunity to just talk to somebody on the level and okay. just say, how will this benefit me and learn okay, the techniques? Rita, I know I mentioned spiritual healing, that's what it's all about, but mm. uh, you, you had allergies as well, hadn't you? Yeah. How, how are they? Yeah, much improved. I mean, okay. the breathing techniques really are good for that because most okay. of us breathe through... So you're glad you, yeah. glad you did Operation Transfiguration, as we called it, so, so wittily back in January when we were only uh, novices at this. But the, the four of you, thanks to the Una, Dave, Adrian and Francis, thank, thanks for your effort, by the way. It was a great effort over the six weeks. Through all the, the snow, when everything shut down, but not Operation Transfiguration. <laughs> now, some music, Maya Brennan.